So, let's start to record the transactions. On December 16th, first transaction. Received customer purchase order number 53426, document number 4, from Rosemont University. Approved their credit and shipped the goods. All goods ordered were shipped, except that only shoulder pad sets were available for shipment. Here are the carrier information and freight rate and numbers of shipment. Rosemont's credit limit is documented in their subsidiary ledger account. You will use several documents and record an entry in the sales journal and the accounts receivable subsidiary ledger for this transaction. For guidance in preparing the bill of lading, see pages 35-36 of the reference book. Let's check on the flowchart, page 18. Sales. After receive the customer purchase order, Kramer approves credit and initials approval on customer purchase order. Nancy Ford pick items from inventory and fill order. Prepare pre-numbered bill of lading. Prepare pre-numbered sales invoice and ship the customer order. After ship the order, Jim Adams make entry in sales journal and account receivable subsidiary ledger. First, let's check on the customer purchase order number 53426, document number 4 and Ray Ira Michel on it. Nancy prepare the pre-numbered bill of lading on document number 5, shipper number 6890BR, carrier number 2154, date December 16, consignee Rosemont University, address 121 East Front Street, Louisville, KG, zip code 40202, Route Express, name of carrier Allied Trucking, vehicle number 2X1XZ, fill in the number shipping units and description from the transaction list question, weight is calculated based on pounds per carton multiplied by cartons and times $37 per pound, so total charges would be $315.98, non-available for the rest. Carrier Allied Trucking, per John Aarons, date December 16, and signed by Nancy Ford. After that prepare invoice, document number 6, invoice number 731, the same thing, fill in Rosemont University, Mary Jenkins, address 121 East Front Street, Louisville, KD 40202, Invillian 2 Ice date December 16, prepared by Nancy Ford, credit term 2 slash 10 net 30, customer purchase order number 53426, date December 14, signed by Mary Jenkins, shipment date December 16, shipped via Allied Trucking, bill of lading number 6890BR, Let's fill in the exact available units, 25 BB267 goal and rim set quantity, ship 25, unit price is $131, you could get the selling price from the price list. 20 unit BB358 backboard quantity, ship 20, unit price is $124, quantity ordered 75 FB027 shoulder pad set, actual quantity shipped 45 only, unit price is $140, next, quantity ordered 40 FB225 football helmet, quantity shipped 40 and unit price is $90, so total would be $50. $15,655, customer account number 406, verified and initial by Jim Adams. Next, let's record the sales journal. On date December 16, invoice number 731, subsidiary account number 406, account receivable general ledger 1,200, amount $15,655, and credit sales general ledger amount $15,655. After that, let's make the entry into the account receivable subsidiary ledger, account number 406, Rosemont University, date December 16, invoice number 731, debit $15,655, and we are done for the first transaction.